It's one of the most physically demanding and dangerous jobs on the waterfront, delashing containers. During the voyage, loads have shifted, tensions on the lashings may have altered, and there's always a temptation to speed the work up to get it done more quickly. You know, just take a breath. Step back, take a breath, look at what you're doing, and think of it in terms of how can I prevent an injury to myself or to my partner. When delashing, Take the strain off your back by using your legs to release the turnbuckle. Store the rods and other gear properly so it doesn't create a tripping hazard. And always be aware of the position of the cranes and loads. There's a right way and wrong way to handle rods once away from the container. If you aren't careful and aware of where your partner is, you're liable to hit him with the bar especially when turning with a rod. Hold it vertically so you don't blindside your partner. When standing a rod up off the deck or lowering it to the deck, brace one end so it doesn't slip out from under you. Think safety first. Don't create new hazards during the delashing process. Stow the delashed gear properly. just want to make you aware of some of the hazards that are around this job. Uh, you can see the, uh, the bars and the turnbuckles here, also the stackers down here. If you look around on the deck, there's a number of tripping hazards, so be careful where you're walking. Just take your time, work with a partner at all times. Before you begin any shift on ship, it's smart to review what you're going to do and the safety precautions you intend to take. It's called a safety or toolbox talk. This is the time to listen and to ask questions if you are new on the job or unfamiliar with the ship or the process. We've had fatalities. We've had a foreman climbing up the uh, side of the hatch, up the ladder to get onto the deck. And meanwhile, the gantry crane was passing by and caught him and uh, it killed him. Was, uh, he got pinched between the, uh, the lid and the crane. Think safety first. Don't be afraid to ask a question. If you have a question or see a situation you think might be dangerous, ask your foreman. A lot of the danger in lashing and delashing doesn't involve rods and turnbuckles. One of the most common accidents on ships is falling, tripping over equipment, tumbling into a bay, slipping on a ladder, stepping in front of a piece of moving equipment. I had a, a very good friend of mine who went, went up uh, the ranks with, that uh, was literally cut in half by a, a lift truck. And, uh, you know, for, uh, for reasons that, of course, was totally avoidable. That's that's the darn thing about uh, these accidents. They're most, so often they're totally avoidable. Make sure any avoidable hazards are marked, sealed off, or otherwise diminished. Think safety first. As you move about the ship, maintain three-point contact. Two legs and an arm, two arms and a leg, on all ladders at all times. You need to communicate really well. You need to know where your partner is. You need to know what's going on around you. And those are all safety skills. The best way to protect yourself and be productive is to be a partner, a safety partner. Anytime you're working with any partner, that, that's what the partnership is about. It's making sure that both guys are safe. Think about yourself and the other guy. When you're laying down a turnbuckle on deck, pivoting with a long rod, stowing cones and other gear. And if you see something that might be endangering someone's safety, tell your foreman. There's a lot of injuries of 
you know, somebody banging his, his knee on, 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 on a ladder or tripping on something that, well, you know, it's, it's what you would call the inherent danger of, of, of the profession, right? But those aside, uh, many of the, especially the most the gruesome injuries that we've had were actually, when one sit down and starts analyzing it, it was totally avoidable. Basically, work slow, work safe, and uh, be careful. We want everybody to go home in the same condition they came today. Okay, let's go to work.